Hello everybody! So here is Lenny Delir again and I'm here to talk to you about INFP versus ENFP. As I already said in other videos, this kind of split is actually less problematic than other kind of splits. In this case, we can see a very different focus in the application of intuition and feelings. And the kind of feeling we're dealing with here is introverted feeling. So what I mean is that the position and use of introverted feeling will help us determine which type we're dealing with. With introverted feeling in the dominant position, INFP's ethics is stable and conservative. This is something we can actually say about every function in the, in the dominant position. And it is also why we say that types embody their dominant function. INFPs embody introverted feeling. Some traits of introverted feeling in the dominant position are a strong sense of self-determined moral values, a strong and unchangeable sense of attraction or repulsion towards people or objects, deeply and intensely felt feelings. Once an INFP has determined if they have positive or negative feelings towards something or someone, that judgment will be bound to that something or someone and it will be almost impossible for the INFP to ever change their mind about it. We can summarize introvert feeling in the dominant position with the concept we feel what we feel, which is particularly true for INFPs and ISFPs. Because if anyone else, especially extrovert feeling types, can deal with the world disregarding their own feelings, for example, they can smile when they're sad at a wedding, for instance, introverted feeling dominants literally are what they deeply feel. And for them, it is impossible to detach from such feelings because it would be for them a loss of authenticity. And those feelings, like we said, are also stable and conservative. My NFP cousin, for example, always had positive feelings towards my ISTJ cousin. And even when my ISTJ cousin did a huge wrong to the NFP's family, the INFP couldn't help siding with the ISTJ because of the strong fr friendship bond that she has with her. It is interesting anyway to observe that in this kind of dynamic, um, different INFPs will have different reactions, and it depends where the most intense feelings are located. A people-oriented INFP, for example, will side like my cousin with one side or the other, whereas a values-oriented INFP will make it a matter of right and wrong and they will stand their ground about values. What is important to note is that INFPs always know how they feel, feel about everything, whereas their use of extra intuition is uh, seen in the multiple possibilities uh, that, they that they produce to express the feeling dictated by introverted feeling. Possibilities and potential are the communication system of INFPs, their social network of choice, so to speak. They see the potential and the possibilities, react to them feeling something and give back the feeling in terms of new potential and new possibilities. If extrovert intuition is the social network of choice of INFPs and they use it creatively to interact with the world, introverted feeling is the social network of choice of ENFPs and they use it creatively to interact with the world. If for INFPs feelings are conservative and stable, for ENFPs instead feelings are and values are circumstantial. They can feel positively disposed towards that game one minute and the minute after they feel negatively disposed towards it because their accurate intuition state has changed. For example, they see the possibility to watch a movie as more attractive and therefore they will become hostile towards the game. And 
Also, judgments of right and wrong in ENFPs are circumstantial and moody. Depending on uh, how they feel uh, about the possibilities and potential they see, their attitude and feelings towards people and things will change. And this is the key. If in INFPs, feelings and values are conservative and stable, ENFPs are conservative and stable in their perception of potential and possibilities. One trait of external intuition is maintaining the harmony of the external environment. I'm perfectly aware that uh, uh, a lot of uh, MBTI philosophies want to see this trait on external feeling. But like I said, in my videos, I apply socionics, the definitions, and in socionics, the harmony of the external environment is an attribute of uh, extroverted intuition. One way in which this trait of extroverted intuition shows uh, is that ENFPs have their, have their own agenda and their own idea of how the day or the week is going to roughly go. And they are very conservative in that sense. Anything disrupting that flow of things is received with hostility and reacted to badly. For example, my ENFP friend feels really angry and really frustrated every time she's asked to take out the trash or when someone shows up at her place without notice. Another thing that she does uh, that corresponds to the harmony of the external environment is get extremely angry when someone throws away a piece of paper or anything without throwing it in the bin. This is what socionics defines the harmony of the external environment. And uh, extroverted intuition in the dominant position is very conservative about preserving this kind of harmony. Unluckily though, explaining something as abstract as intuition is like trying to build a castle of cards in the middle of a, stor of a storm. Not to speak of the fact that everybody has their different idea of what intuition actually is. So the best way to split NFPs and ENFPs is instead to observe their use of introverted feeling and their use of extroverted thinking and introverted sensing. Now, a few, a couple of hints about this. Extroverted thinking inferior in INFPs shows in an attraction towards knowledgeable and bossy individuals, people who have a clear view of how things should be done according to experts or public opinion. And INFPs themselves tend to collect huge amounts of data, waiting for someone with the ability to sort them out for them according to the credibility of their sources. ENFPs instead, with tertiary expert thinking, have a desire to collect knowledge from sources that they themselves consider credible. And any attempt to contradict their position is received as a challenge to the credibility of their sources, unless such contradiction comes from someone that they have decided is a credible and authoritative source. Anyway, their answer will be a flow of quotes and, quotes and facts supporting their sources. And that's because the credibility of their sources is for ENFPs a matter of self-esteem. As well as uh, uh, the need to have their own territory of influence is for them a matter of self-esteem. And this in socionics is also a trait of extroverted thinking. You may also have noticed how ENFPs become defensive of their turf. Similarly, introverted sensing matters are a matter of self-esteem for INFPs. Finding the right, or the right remedy, having good health, and living a health in a healthy environment is paramount for INFPs' self-esteem. Many INFPs tend to choose organic food and lean towards a hippie lifestyle, healthy life in the nature, possibly even becoming vegetarian. ENFPs instead, with inferior introvert sensing, are attracted to people who have strong sense of their bodies and how to create 
health and comfort for themselves and for others. Therefore, they can fall in the trap of charlatans because when they're told that they need to cure themselves about something, they will easily believe it. One thing I noticed in my ENFP friends is that they all have that specific dish that they eat at that specific restaurant and they tend to lack the confidence and the desire to try any new solutions for fear of corrupting their comforts in comfort in those restaurants. Now, some conclusive remarks. NFP's best match is the ESTJ, but they can get along well also with INTPs. ENFP's best match instead is the ISTJ, but they can get along very well also with ESFPs. INFPs completely lack any form of willpower and they fail understanding the importance of force and political influence. They believe that everybody should listen to their feelings. ENFPs instead completely lack a sense of logic and structure, believing that everybody should just follow the possibilities and the potential without boundaries and without restraint. This is really everything I have about this matter. I hope it helps and I will talk to you soon. Bye.